to showmethecurry.com. I'm Hippel. I'm Anujra. And today we're going to show you a quick recipe to how to make masala almonds. Mm -hmm. Now this is perfect as a snack. You know, almonds are so good for everybody. Um, and not only a snack, but like if you're inviting people over and you have a few drinks, it's perfect. It's a little tangy and a little spicy and yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Just to dress up the regular almonds. <laughs> yes, exactly. And it's super easy. So first of all, we have two cups of almonds right here. And these are just raw, plain raw almonds. And we have a bowl here, so we're going to drop that in there. And we have some ghee over here. This is our homemade ghee, about one tablespoon, give or take a little bit, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to toss these almonds to make sure that each and every one gets nicely coated with that ghee. Mm -hmm. So we also have our oven preheated at 350 degrees and it's ready to go. Mm -hmm. So we also have a baking tray with parchment paper on it. Mm -hmm. And all we're going to do is drop these on there and make sure they're in a single layer to spread them out so they cook nice and evenly. So if you don't have parchment paper, you can always use foil or one of the silpat mats, just make sure it's, uh, if you're using a foil, make sure it's got a little bit of a coating on it so that it doesn't stick. That looks perfect. And it goes into the oven. For 10 minutes. So while the almonds are baking, we're going to get all the masalas together. So to start off, we have one and a half teaspoons or half a tablespoon of pink Himalayan salt. And next is a quarter teaspoon of citric acid. Now citric acid is a really, really potent ingredient. It's super tangy and you can usually find it at the Indian grocery store. There, It's completely available. Mm -hmm. We've got one teaspoon of roasted cumin powder, quarter teaspoon of black salt, half teaspoon of black pepper, and finally we've got one teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder. Or to taste. Or to taste. Now Kashmiri chili powder is not very spicy. It's got a little bit of kick to it, but if you want this spicy you can cut back on that and add like regular red chili powder. Right. Get it a little more spicy. Or do half and half. That way you get a little bit of color and you get a little bit of punch. Right. And what we're going to do is we're going to put, the, put it in a blender and just grind all the spices so they all are an even uh, consistency. So they mix a little better with the almonds. Now you can also do this in the mortar presto just as well. Almonds bake for 10 minutes and uh, oh my god, look how gorgeous they're looking. They smell amazing. Absolutely. <laughs> and we're going to put it back into the mixing bowl. And while the almonds are still hot and you can see that oil shimmering on it, we're going to pour our masalas on there. And quickly toss. See how that oil just kind of absorbs all those masalas. Yes. That's so good. You have no idea. I wish there was Bella version or something. And I feel could, that. I feel uh, those yes. uh, taste buds kind of. And that uh, jeera, you know, the roasted jeera, it's got a very earthy flavor. Aroma and it smells so good. Look at that. And that's it. <laughs> How simple is that? I know. So the hardest part of this recipe now is you have to wait until mm -hmm. these are completely cooled down. Right now, if you try to bite into them, you will burn your tongue. And they're kind of soft because right. you know, they just came out of the oven. But once they cool down completely to room temperature, they have this amazing crunch. So, right. so also for storing, you do not need to put them in the refrigerator. Just keep it in an airtight container outside in a cabinet or something. But trust me, they're going to finish off really fast. Yeah. So you won't have to worry about that, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my god, it looks so good. So the masala almonds are done and oh my god, they look so good and so tempting. Mm -hmm. The only thing to do is try. Yes, we would have to do it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Crunchy. Perfect amount of flavor. Mm. I know, I, I don't think there's any <laughs> one particular uh, spice that's jumping out. It's like a perfect marriage of all the spices. Yep. You can't really pinpoint it, but it's awesome. Really, really good. So if you like this video and you'd like to see more from us, make sure to subscribe mm -hmm. and like. Give it a thumbs up mm -hmm. and also hit that bell icon so that every time we post a new video, you will be the first to know. And again, if you like this recipe, share it with your friends. Right, share the love, share mm -hmm. the masala. <laughs> 
and join us again for another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life.